Your gym's closed. You're stuck at home. Due to the coronavirus. But you still want to make those which gains. Don't worry, baby. Ayusha's here. Hello there, I am Ayush Bajgain, and today we're going to be making those Bajgains! Yes, today I'll be going over several lower body exercises that you can do right here at home. So stay tuned and stay tuned for a so many more home workout videos. So first off, we're gonna start with the squat. And we're gonna be going over a, a bunch of variations as well. So come on. First off, we're gonna keep our feet about shoulder width apart, okay? Remember, we're just hinging at the hips. Okay, we're just hinging back. We're sitting in a chair, okay? Imagine that when we squat. So we're here, shoulder width apart, and we're just sitting back, okay? And only go as low as you can go, all right? Y'all, you know, if that means you could just, if that means for now, you can just go right here, that's fine. You don't need to go all the way down like this, okay? Okay, so in the beginning, yes. Later on, you will go down all the way. Okay, as you get stronger and as your mobility and flexibility increases, you'll go all the way down, okay? So now, we did that, squats, one more time. Make sure, we're gonna have side view, sitting back, hinging up the hips, and then up. Front view, hinging out the hips, up. Another option for squats, or if you're just starting off and want to get the movement pattern down, is to do assisted squats, or box squats, uh, chair squats, squats, couch squats, in this case, <coughs> Bed squats. Come on here. So here, we're gonna emphasize the movement, okay? The halfway point. So just, so this is a perfect example of sitting on a chair or a bed, okay? So we're gonna come right here, and we're gonna emphasize the hinge. So we're gonna come here and just hinge back. We're gonna sit on the bed. So here, hinge back, chest up, Come, squeeze your glutes. Contract. Contract the glutes, okay? One more time. Hinge back. Up. Hey! Y'all, start off with this. Start off with this before the regular squats. All right, y'all? It's a regression, but still. Get the form down. Get the movement down. Hey, hey! A tip. All right, so when we squat, or box squat, or bed squat, when we come up, okay, so we're coming down, we're hinging up the hips. What we don't want to do is we don't want to hyperextend, okay? That's going to put a lot of pressure on the lower back. Right now, we don't have any weights, okay? We're just using our body weight. But if we add weights on our back or on our front or anywhere, loaded anywhere, see, just come in here. If we just extend it, that would cause tension and pressure right here, and that's what you don't want, okay? So instead, we're just gonna come down, chest up, stop right there. Just make sure you get the contraction, and then stop. You don't have to go for it, you don't have to, you don't have to do the, the limbo or <laughs> Now, to make the squats even more challenging, what we could do is this. 
So we're going to do slow eccentrics, or slow negatives. So slow on the way down, okay? Really control, control your body weight. So we're coming up, hands like this, hands like this, whatever way, so here. So I'm going to do this. So we're going to come up, shoulder width apart, and just hinge back. Slowly. About five seconds, think about five seconds. Okay, get down. And then you get also on the cost of the concentric, on the way up, you could even make it more challenging by doing that. Or you could just focus on the negative and eccentric and slowly go down. And then explode up. Oh, yeah. Another option is that we can just do isometric holds. Okay, so isometric is when we just hold one position. The muscle is just contracting. Okay, it's not moving up, it's not moving down, it's staying in place and contracting. Okay, so we're gonna come here, we could just go down, so hinge back, go down, and then we could just stay there. Stay at whatever depth. Is comfortable for you, okay? Whichever depth is comfortable, okay? Stay there for you could do 10 seconds holds, 10 second holds, even 30 seconds, even a minute, whatever you want, okay? And after you hold, come back up. Hey, hey. Next, we can also do pulse squats. So we're gonna go down, we're gonna come down, we're gonna hinge, and then just one. Two, three, four, five, and then come up. Hey! To make the squats <laughs> explosive, we could do the jump squats. Okay, so come here. So for this one, make sure you go down, okay? So go down and then okay, go down. And then we're gonna really use momentum, really use your arms. Squat. Oh, yeah. You can also make it strict, okay? You can also make the jump squat strict. You don't have to use your arms to help you go up. So you could just come here, hold your arms like this, and just use your legs. So from here, okay? Squat. Oh, yeah. Now, we are going to thrust. Come here. So this is an ideal exercise for your body. Glutes. So right here, we're going to come here and then get an elevated surface, whatever that is, a chair, a couch, your bed, anything. Okay, come here. I'll even show you how to do it on the floor. Okay, come here. We're going to put our upper back, okay? So put your elbows and upper back, just like this. And then from here, we're just going to squeeze. We're just going to contract our glutes, okay? So come here. Instead of looking up, keep your chin tilted down and looking straight, okay? We want to make sure that we're flat all the way. So we're going to come here and we're just going to squeeze. Okay. And make sure we're making sure we're flat. Our spine is flat, okay? It's not, we don't want to hyperextend, like I showed you previously for the squats. We don't want to extend our back because that's going to put so much pressure on our lower back. Especially if you do this with weights, even more pressure. Okay? Because usually we're going to have weights, a barbell or a dumbbell, kettlebell, etc. So now, again, one more time. Gonna come here, just gonna go down. And the pulse, so you can bring your feet wider. It's gonna hit more of your hamstrings if you, put it, if you put it out more. But if you bring it in closer, it's gonna target more of the glutes, the booty. So we're gonna come here, and then we're just gonna chin tucked, straight. One more. Really contract, but don't overextend, okay? Right there is enough. 
To make it even more challenging, we can do this. One leg up, okay? The same thing. Hip thrust, same principles. Tap two, we're keeping it straight when we come up. This time, with the kick. Get it? Kick. So come here, and now we're just gonna come down, and then up. So come down, up. Come down, up. Now same thing on the floor. So we're gonna come here. Whee! Now we're gonna do hip thrusts slash glute bridges on the floor. Okay, so if you don't have an elevated surface or anything like that, we're gonna come here. Similar, put our elbows on the floor and we're just gonna bridge it up. Just squeeze your glutes. Whee! If you want to make it even more challenging, if you don't have an elevated surface and you need to do it on the floor, what it's going to do? One leg up. A little kick. Get it? The kick. So we're going to do it. We're going to take the tuck chin and then we're going to come down. You can kick up or you can just knee. So now we're gonna act like we're a horse, a donkey, a deer. Because what we're gonna do is we're gonna kick back. Okay? So we're gonna come here. This is really gonna target that glutes. So we're just gonna come here. We're just gonna kick back. And then you can bring your knee up. You can even. Bring your knee all the way up like this. Okay? So kick back, and then up. Kick back, and then up. I'll also show you the. I'll also show you the seated one on the floor. Okay? Another one is that we're gonna abduct. Abduct. No, no, no. This is not a kidnapping. This is not a kidnapping. Well, maybe for your legs and hips, okay? So we're just gonna move. Abduct means we're moving away from our body, okay? Away. Adduct or adduction or abduction. Whatever it is, okay? So adduction or adduction is when we're moving in. But here we're moving up, so we're just gonna move away, okay? We're using our hips, our glutes, and our legs. Moving away from the body, okay? So we're just working the side, working our hips, working our side, the side of the glutes, okay? So it's important as well to work everything, every area. So we're just kicking, okay? Kicking, you're gonna really feel the glutes working, firing. Your hips as well. All right, all right. Now I'm going to show you how to do the kickbacks and more on the floor. The same thing, really. We're going to be on all fours. Oh, I'm going to kick my bed. So we're going to be here and we're just kicking back. Okay? See the glutes contraction? So in. You can even crunch up, crunch up all the way. See so your abs are working as well. Your abs are going to be far. So crunching, tuck your Tuck your knees in when you come in, and then from here, extend out. In, out. Oh, yeah. Now, same thing for the hip abductions or leg abduction, or know, abductions or glute abductions. We're moving away from the body. We do them on the floor. So, from here, we can just kick, kick away like this. Or just or did you need? Okay. Oh, yeah. To open up your hips and glutes, we can do more abductions. Okay? So come on here. So we're just gonna come here. One side. Okay, we're gonna lift ourselves with one arm on one side. And from here, 
we're going to take one leg, we're just going to open it, okay? Keep it 90 degrees and down. You're really going to feel the hips as well as the glutes. So we're just opening it up. One more. Now we're going to do the single leg deadlift. Single leg Romanian deadlift, okay? One of the most important movements that you can do to emphasize the hip hinge, okay? So come here, shoulder width apart, be shoulder width apart. Then we're going to slightly bend our knees, okay? Have a slight bend in the knees, and then we're going to raise one leg out, and then we're just going to hip hinge, okay? We're going to hinge at the hips like we've done with all these movements, okay? I'm just gonna come here, and then try to see if you can reach your toe, okay? You don't have to touch your toes, but just that motion, okay? We're just gonna go down and up. And this is really great for your glutes, your hamstrings, just overall, okay? Not only for strength, but for balance, stability, mobility, flexibility. This has got everything. And it's unilateral. It's a unilateral movement, meaning it's on one side. So that's, I love you a lot of movements, guys. It's gonna help with injury prevention. It's, it's gonna compensate for muscle imbalances. Because whenever you do a lot of uh, movements with two legs or two arms, uh, two lats, two pecs, two shoulders, two everything, it's gonna hide your weaknesses. Because one side may be stronger than the other side. And you won't know. So it's important. It's imperative. I would say even it's even more important than doing bilateral training. Unilateral, working on one leg is even more important. Okay? That way you can balance everything. Sorry, I got too much time. But now, nah, it's important. You need that. Also, for the single leg deadlift, what you can do, you can choose to keep your leg up and elevate it, or you can sit it down after each repetition. If you want the challenge, the stability balance challenge, you can just leave it up. Okay? So what we're gonna do here, here, touch your toes, come up. Or you could just here, sit it down. Hey, hey. What is this? That's right, the band. So Another option for the single leg deadlift is to use bands. So if you're just getting started off with the movement and want to get the movement down, want to be more familiar, you can use the bands. If you have them, what we're going to do, we're going to get the band, we're going to put it under our foot like this, okay? Like this. And then we're just going to, the band will help us with the motion, okay? It's going to help us with the balance, stability, and strength. So it will be easier, okay? Gonna come here, gonna hinge, up. Hinge back, up. See, I'm holding, it's like a support, it's for support. The bands are here for support. Hinge, up. Now, we're gonna do lunges, okay? A bunch of lunges. All right, so first, we gotta get the form down. Okay, so when we do lunges, I want to make sure that we're going 90 degrees, okay? Just like this. So we're going to come here, we're going to do a forward lunge, we're going to come, and then go down 90 degrees, okay? You see? It's a 90 degree angle from my ankle to my knee. And then come back. 90 degrees. Just stay about an inch above the floor, inch above touching the floor with your knees, okay? Now, Another one, reverse lunge. So we're going back this time. So here, we're gonna go back. Same principle applies. 90 degrees, okay? Come, one more. For the lunges, you can go a little further as well, okay? You don't have to be, I realize I performed it a little short, my range of motion is pretty short because of the space, but you can even go longer, okay? You can go wider. So here, you're just making sure of the fundamentals. Making sure 90 degrees and you're parallel, okay? So come in here, step, straight, we're going down. In 
meet you on the floor, okay? You can touch the floor, but if you want to keep the tension, just stay about an inch above the floor. Come on. Same thing for uh, back reverse lunges or backwards lunges. We're going to go wider as well. So we're just going to come here. We're going to step back. This is 90 degrees, okay? And then up. Now, you want to do curtsy, curtsy, hit your discard. Yes. This movement is called curtsy lunges. Okay, it's like. That's exactly what it is, all right? We're gonna come here, and we're gonna curtsy. If you have your skirt, you could even do it too, so. Next, we're gonna do explosive jumping lunges, okay? Explosive alternating lunges. All right, so we're gonna come here, come here, and then. If you don't want to use your arms, if you don't want to use too much momentum, manage your legs, just like previously. Clasp for arms, okay? And then start up here. Now we're gonna go side to side. Alright, so come here. So we're just gonna go on one side and alternate. Okay, so here. So lunge. Side. Lunge. We're going to do more unilateral, one sided work, okay? So, previously I already mentioned the importance of doing unilateral training. So, working on one side, whether that be one leg, one arm, uh, one lat, one chest, one, pe one pec, one uh, delt, one cheek, I don't know, one cheek, this one. Yeah, it's so important, okay? So come on here. So here we're gonna mainly focus on the quadriceps, okay? The quads or the thighs as well. So, but it's obviously gonna work with the glutes and the hamstrings as well, okay? But primarily the quads. So we're gonna do Bulgarian split squats, okay? So we're gonna come here. We're gonna elevate one leg on the chair, the couch, <laughs> The bed, okay? Then okay, come here, just put your toe, so where the toe is at, right there, and then from here, we're gonna go down, just parallel, okay? 90 degrees, okay? Just like a lunge. Our front leg is gonna simulate a lunge pattern, okay? Because this is a lunge, really. Just elevate it. So we're gonna come here, 90 degrees, okay? Go as low as you can, be about an inch above the floor, come back up. Chest up. Going down, straight down, okay? We're going straight down. Here. Up. And also, similar to the lunges, you can widen your stance as well, okay? So you can lengthen your stance. So like this. So previously I did it like this. It was a bit narrow. Just going up and down, like this. Right? Just making sure you hit 90, 90 degrees, and up. But you can also take it a little bit wider, okay? So come here. Then just go down, 90, making sure you're going 90, and then up. So now we're going to keep continuing with unilateral, 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 lateral, lateral movements, okay? So here we're going to do pistol squats, all right? But this is going to be more challenging because you're going to be on one leg, and it's going to require more strength, balance, coordination, mobility, stability, and flexibility. Okay, not just from your lower body and your legs, but from your entire body, okay? Because your whole body is going to be working together to perform this movement. Especially your core. So come on here. And I'm going to show you a regression of that pistol squat as well, okay? So it's going to be another option that you can perform with assistance. Okay, so stay tuned, okay? So first up, come here. We're gonna elevate one leg, like so. We're gonna keep our hands out, clasp our hands like this, 
like this. Doesn't really matter, okay? We're just elevating one leg, and then we're gonna squat with one leg. So we're just gonna squat. We're just gonna go down, parallel, with this one leg. And then we're gonna switch sides, okay? So obviously we're gonna switch okay. sides. Squat down, and up. Here, squat down, and up. We're gonna come here, our hands out, like this, 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 like this. Doesn't really matter. We're just elevating our legs, keeping our hands here, like so. From here, extend your leg, and we're just gonna hinge back. So from here, we're just gonna hinge back, and then come up. So if you're just getting started and want to work up to a pistol squat or one-legged squat, here's another variation, okay? So just like the squats, we did a box squat or a chair squat, a couch squat, a bed squat. And here, same thing. Come here. So here, we're going to use the bed to assist our balance, okay? So we're going to come, we're just going to squat, okay? So we're gonna elevate our one leg, like so. Keep our hands here, 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 here. Okay? And we're gonna squat down, we're gonna hinge back. Sit in the chair. From the beginning, we're always sitting in the chair, okay? That's the movement. Hinging back, and then up. Hinging back, chest up, and then up. We can't, for the, we can't forget about our calves, okay? Right here. So we're gonna come here, go against the wall, and we're just gonna raise. We're just gonna lift up our toes. Okay, you don't have to sit on the wall, but put your hand on the wall, but you can just do them like this, okay? The last touch, the finishing touch. You can even do them one, uh, the one leg at a time. For more challenge, for more of a challenge, for balance, stability, just... Or, if you want to make it a little bit easier, sit down on a chair or a couch, uh, a bed. You can even just sit down and raise those calves. So there we have it, y'all. That was just a bunch of lower body exercises that you can do at home. All right, y'all, stay tuned. Stay tuned every couple of days, every week, at least a couple of times a week. Okay, I'm gonna be posting videos at least a couple of times a week on everything, but especially now, home workouts, okay? Due to the circumstances, the current events, I just wanna put a bunch of home workout videos, okay? So stay tuned. All right, y'all. So with that, love, VC's daddy, your own Ayush. And as always, remember, just leave. And so with that, y'all, what was it? Bro. Bash gate. <laughs> of course. Yeah. So let's make those bash gains. And connect with me on social media. All the social medias will be linked down below in the description as well as the exercises. Alright, y'all. It's gonna be at Bash Gains as well as the Ayushwe. So that's y'all. Stay healthy, stay safe. Don't panic, okay? We're all gonna get through this. The more you panic, it's gonna deteriorate you from the inside. Okay, y'all? Life is so short. The reason it's short is because you really have no control over it. Okay, it's so unpredictable. So the only thing you could do right now is simply 
just live. So that's your just live. Hey, I see you. Hey. You may not be able to control your life in its entirety, but your mindset, your energy, what you produce, what you give off to the world, your intentions, that can determine a lot, actually. So while you may not have full control, somehow you can still control. But it's an option. You can leave it up to life and let life do the wonders. Or you could actually take it in your hands. It's up to you. I won't give you an answer. That's for you to find out which one you want to do. I just want to say, let me know what you thought down below in the comments. Give me feedback, suggestions. If you just want to talk to me, just talk to me. Reach out to me. You can message me on my social medias as well. I'll link them down. You can message me, connect with me. That's what we're here for. This is a community. Not just a YouTube community, but a community throughout the whole world. Okay, y'all? Especially in these times. All right, y'all? Just reach out to me. And just live. So first off, we're gonna start with the squat. And we're gonna be going a bunch. One leg. Here. We're just gonna 